the young man said, Lord, as far as the commandments are concerned, I have kept all of them. And Jesus looked at him, the Bible says, and he loved him. And he said, one thing you lack, go sell all you have. And then give the money, not to my ministry, give it to the poor. God is not after your money. God is not after your treasure. He's after your soul. The Bible says when this young ruler had this word, he was sad. Just like in the church, start talking about offering. Start talking about giving. People start getting sad. Because people have abused this whole issue of giving. But let me tell you, the truth of the matter is, one of the ways you can know that your soul has been liberated from the bondage of this world is how freely you can surrender your resources to the work of God. What is that area of your life that when God tells you, surrender it, you begin feeling sad? What is that part of your life that you're fighting with God to let go? That is what is preventing you from experiencing the fullness of God. You wonder why probably you have not hit the heights you want to. That one thing. Some of you, it is money. Some of you, it is relationship. Each one of us, we have different things. We have mastered the art of fasting. We have mastered the art of praying. But that one thing. Some of even the treasure may not be there, but the desire itself is holding in bondage. And I ask the Lord to expose us and set us free, that we may freely follow him.